26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. I is the glory of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. 26 men who saddled up and then rode out to answer duty's call. 26 men who lived to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on, ride on, ride on. One of the smartest and toughest outlaws of the Southwest was a woman who went by the name of Ma Hackett. Despite three prison terms for various acts of larceny and violence, she had raised four sons, all outlaws, trained sternly to obey this dominant woman's every order. I thought I told you to watch that stuff cooking on the stove. I'm tired of watching it. I thought I heard horses. You'll hear more than horses if you let that meal burn. Ma, you gotta quit doing that. You get in there and watch that food. I said get in there. All right. You sure this is the right one? Yep, this is Miss Janie Claiborne, fresh out of Mrs. Tuttle's or Sputtle's or somebody's fancy dancy boarding school. Your name's Claiborne? Yes. You're a pa, the Colonel of Fort Apache? Yes, he is, and when he hears about this... I figure he's already heard about it by now. I sent him a message. A message? Your pa's a hard man, girlie. They got my boy Byron, and they plan to hang him. And your pa said he wouldn't lift a finger to stop it. He's a real hard man. Well, we'll see how hard he is when he hears about you. What about me? They plan to hang him come Friday. I wrote your pa. If you let him hang Byron, I'm going to hang you. And there's the rope I intend to do it with. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? If he lets him kill my son, you're going to die too. I promise you. Something wrong? I was just thinking. They'd better not hang Byron Hackett yet, not till we get the girl back. Colonel Claiborne's smart enough to know that. I hope you are right. Johnny. Yes, Captain. Can you come over here, please? Yes, Captain. Do me a favor, will you, Johnny? Sure thing. I'm expecting a telegram. When it comes in, I'd like you to bring it to me right away. I'll be at the corral. Anything for you, Captain. Ma Hackett's message to the colonel in command at Fort Apache got quick results. It brought two hard-eyed men to Arizona in a hurry. They were Lieutenants Holloway and Cass Steele, Army officers on special assignment. To avoid complications, we better change clothes. We we'll look like the rest of them around here. Yeah, then we can uh, check with the sheriff. Yeah. Oh, there's the hotel. About food, Captain. I was thinking four days' supply would be about right. Well, then you're an optimist. On a ride like this, you figure what you need, then double it. Well, I don't know about you, but I didn't plan to gain any weight on the trip. Hey, I haven't gained an ounce of weight in years. I think personal, Captain. I'll pack eight days' supply then. You'll pack what you said first, four days' supply. Yes, Captain. That's right. I'm Lieutenant Holloway. This is Lieutenant Castillo, United States Army Special Service, Fort Apache. Well, you got here in a hurry. We took the stage. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. Thank you. Nice of you men to come down here and help us. Well, this is sort of a special case. Janie Claiborne happens to be our colonel's daughter. Well, let us help you then. You really don't think we need any help, do you, Captain? Let me point out something. 
If you break this case... If we break it, Captain. There's uh, no doubt about that now, is there? If you break this case, how will you make arrests? The Army has no authority in civilian matters. Oh, we do now. We were just deputized by your sheriff. You see, Captain, we heard that Ma Hackett is holing up somewhere here in the Dragoon Mountains. Up north. We thought you might give us a breakdown on how to locate her. Thought you didn't need any help. Well, maybe a little information. Oh, this is Clint Travis, one of my men. How are you? How are you? How are you? Information won't do you much good up in that country. It's one of the toughest areas in the territory. You need someone to take you there. Well, we might take along one of your men as a, as a guide. You'll have two men as guides. Travis will be one, and I'll be the other. But, Captain... You'll need some horses. You can borrow some from our corral. You're welcome to use some rifles, unless you think they're unnecessary. You're making this old woman sound mighty tough, Captain Riney. Well, maybe I know more about her than you do. For 15 years, Ma Hackett was known as Mabel Swan, girl sharpshooter. She traveled with Brockland's Carnival, all through Kansas, Nebraska, and the Dakotas. She can pick your eyes out with any kind of firearm. And let me tell you something about the gang she has left. You folks have Byron Hackett in jail. That's right. But Ma Hackett still has Clay, Grady, and Tobe Hackett, and Al Troxel. According to the report, Troxel killed Joey Corbin a few weeks ago. And Corbin had a long record as a gunfighter. Grady is wanted for killing a marshal in Amarillo and another in Huntsville. Marshals? They were Arizona Marshals. And probably you don't know this, but Clay Hackett and Troxel, with the Claiborne girl, were stopped by one of your men just before they reached the New Mexico border. Your man was killed when he tried to question them. Now do you want the rifles? Well, if you say so, Captain. Pick out a couple. We'll get the horses ready. All right, fine. Let you out for a breath of air? I guess you're kind of scared, ain't you? I don't blame you. The mark could just about scare anybody. I don't know. You don't have to be scared of me, because I wouldn't hurt you. You sure are pretty. You don't think you'll kill me, do you? I've just never seen anything like you before. I swear, you're prettier than a pearl handled pistol. Oh, I gotta get away from here. I just gotta get away. Oh. Oh, now, don't do that. Come on, you don't have to cry. Please, stop crying. I don't like to see anybody cry. I don't like to see anybody cry. What do you want? You're supposed to be working. What do you think I've been doing? Come on, get outside. Oh, you think what I said? Get outside. Get your hands off me. Gagging with that girl in here. I told you to dig those holes and I meant it. Ah, oh, dig holes. That's all I heard all day long. Now, what are you going to do, plant melons? Do you think we can kidnap a girl like that one and not have the law after us? Why, they'll be moving in on this place like cats at a fish fry. Oh, they don't even know we're here. The whole territory knows we're here. Because you baboons can't keep from riding off to some town and getting liquored up. You can't keep from making enough noise to be heard a hundred miles. So you're going to dig those holes like I said. Do you understand? That's telling them, Mark. You get out and help it. You clean up this place. You think those army men are going to be satisfied with these horses? I'll give you a word of advice. Don't even ask them.
Hey, what's that out there? Show you which way the wind's blowing? Don't you know the Arizona Rangers use that for target practice? Target practice? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have one of those to play with down Fort Apache? Go on, try it. should spin faster than that. It will. I bet he practices that trick every day. I bet he could get a job in a carnival. <laughs> Telegram, Captain. Well, oh, thank you, sir. Here, just a minute. Thank you. You men have any objection to riding all night? A horse can break a leg at night, Captain. But if it's important... It's very important. We have to get to that girl as soon as possible. Afraid the old lady might be getting jumpy? Her boy should have gotten a stay of execution. Colonel Claiborne knows we need time to work on this. Claiborne left for Washington the day before Ma Hackett's message arrived at the fort. They haven't been able to contact him. He doesn't know about it. I'll read this telegram. Byron Hackett was hanged at 5 o'clock this morning. We're right all night, Captain. Anything for me yet? Whoa. What was that name again? Hackett. Grady Hackett. I'm expecting a message from White River. Oh, nothing from White River. The only thing I've had from around there was a wire from Fort Apache for Captain Riding of the Rangers. I sent a kid to deliver it. Thanks, anyway. What was the message for the Rangers? How's that? Was it about a man named Hackett? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. Some fellow they just hanged back there. Say, didn't you tell me your name was Hackett? That's right, Hackett. The fellow they hanged just happens to be my brother. Getting dark pretty soon. You gonna rest the horses anywhere? No time. We're still 15 miles from the dragoons. How much farther beyond that? Another five, maybe. It's 20 miles. Means we're gonna have to press to get there. We'll get there. Now what? It's almost dawn. They should be getting up pretty soon. I'm going to climb that rock and see if I can pick up a light or a thread of smoke. You know what will happen to us if we don't save that girl? Quit worrying. The captain's doing everything possible. Maybe we should have brought a patrol with us in Fort Apache. A patrol would never cover the ground as fast as we have. Any luck, Captain? No. The two more canyons beyond this one. We'll just have to try them all. This is a dead end canyon. You mean to tell me we've been on the wrong trail? I thought you said you knew where this Ma Hackett lived. I said I knew this section, not the exact canyon. We'll just have to keep looking till we find the right one. <laughs> this may take hours, days. It may, if we keep talking about it.
not going to hurt you. What do you want? How'd you like to get away from here? Get away? All you got to do is come with me. I'll get you out of here. I don't know. Listen, I want to help you. Can't you see that? I just want to help you. How do I know what you want? Please, leave me alone. You want to stay here and die? My mom meant what she said. Now you listen. You don't have to be scared of me. You don't have to be scared at all. I just want to get you out of here. Now will you listen? All right. We'll sneak out to the corral. We'll take a couple of horses. And we'll just ride out of here. You come with me. Try to sneak around here? You rigged that, didn't you? I'm gonna climb all over you. You listen to me, you young pup. <laughs> You're trying to be a traitor to your own family just because you let yourself get mushed over that girl. What good's it gonna do you? Do you think she'd take a second look at you once you got away from here? Good mind to flail a hide off you. Hey, Ma, wait a minute. What is it? Thought I heard something. Maybe it's Troxel. It's Grady. I got bad news, Ma. Byron? Yeah, Ma. Byron. Oh, they didn't. They didn't do that to Byron. They killed him, Ma. They killed him this morning. I hung around the telegraph office in Phoenix and it came over the wire. Did you hear that? Did you hear that your brother is dead? Your pa let him do it. Your pa let him kill my boy. Well, I warned your pa. I told him I was going to kill you, and I'm going to do it come daylight. Ma, you can't do that. Well, you can't kill a girl. Oh, can't I? Did you ever hear of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, boy? Well, I'm going to do it come daybreak. And don't you try to stop it. Wish I could be sure we're headed in the right direction. Captain. Tracks here. They're fresh. It's a single horse. Good. It'll be one of Ma Hackett's sons bringing the news about Byron. We got the information. No reason to believe she won't. Well, if she's heard it, we've got no time to lose. Seem to be much doing. Could be they're all still asleep. I doubt that. It's the same as too good a chance to miss. We ought to ride in. That's up to you. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Hey, Ma, the men you're expecting are here. Well, get to your places then. They come. We'll see how far they get. It worked, Ma. You got him on the run. Now you see why I had you dig those holes and plant that dynamite? Matter. Can't you tie that thing? We ain't got all day. You can cut that rope out with a bullet? That's pretty long odds. Make sure you allow for the wind. Get a bead on it and keep shooting until you hit it. Right, Captain. Captain, we can't wait much longer. We're going in now. Keep running and dodging. Make yourselves hard to hit.
You think they're going to save you, don't you? Well, they're not. I'm hanging you. It's the last thing I do. Him. No, he tried to help me. All right, Miss Claiborne, we can talk about that later. Are you all right? Yes, thanks to him. Come along. All right, come on. I hope you won't forget about making it easier for that toad boy. I won't forget. I'll speak to the judge. All aboard, Miss Janney. They want you back home in a hurry. All right. Well, thanks again. Thanks for everything. Now, up you go. Thank you, Captain. Travis. You're all right. Wouldn't mind having you in our outfit. <laughs> it's been a pleasure working with you. So long, Rangers. Good old Army hasn't changed a bit. This is the story of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. I is the glory of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. 26 men who saddled up and then rode up to answer duty's call. 26 men who lived to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on.